Now let's go to John Mueller. Other top stories developing right now. Morning, guys. Morning, everyone. We begin with breaking news involving American troops in Afghanistan. A man dressed up as a police officer shot and killed two Americans in the eastern part of that country today. Afghanistan's president had ordered U.S. special forces to withdraw from that province by yesterday. No official response yet from the Pentagon. This morning, North Korea says it has nullified the 1953 ceasefire that ended the Korean War. It made that bold claim just as the U.S. kicked off joint military drills with South Korean forces. Threats from the North have escalated since the U.N. imposed new sanctions against its nuclear program. Back in this country, some good news for the family budget. Gas prices coming down, posting the first weekly decrease since before Christmas. Prices have dropped five cents per gallon in the last week. They are expected to drop another 10 to 12 cents in the coming days. And we've learned overnight that lawyers for Olympic star Oscar Pistorius are appealing terms of his bail. They deny he's a flight risk and claim he should be allowed to travel. Pistorius is awaiting trial right now in South Africa for the murder of his girlfriend. Some medical news, new research on the benefits of aspirin. A study this morning finds women who took aspirin every day reduced their risk for melanoma by more than 20 percent. The longer they took the aspirin, the more protection it gave them. And at the box office, it is the first blockbuster of the year. Oz the Great and Powerful took in 80 million bucks over the weekend, nearly twice as much as the other movies in the top 10 combined. Finally, check this out. A little weasel created all sorts of havoc at a pro soccer game. It's good stuff. The animal is actually called a wild pine marten. Whatever you want to call him, he's a weasel. They couldn't get him off the field as he darted between the players. They even tried a net. No luck. Then one of the Swiss players, watch this, grabs him. Oh. And then the little guy bites him oh, on course. the finger. Yeah, later the goalie with his protective gloves was finally ever to corral the little guy, but the animal put up quite a fight oh, yeah. on the way. Talk about professional athletes. If, if we were chasing that weasel, he'd still be out there running. And I think we'd be gassed right now. Still be chasing him. Everyone's okay, there. by the way. You, you'd you be go. chasing him. <laughs> I would be. I'm the little man on the totem pole. Good morning, again. Good morning, guys. Good morning, everyone. We begin with a spectacular fire that is raging out of control south of New Orleans. A gas pipeline burst into flames after being struck by an oil barge that was being pushed by a tugboat. Four crew members on the tug were injured but escaped. Authorities were waiting for daylight to see how much oil has spilled. The Catholic Archdiocese of Los Angeles has agreed to pay nearly $10 million to settle a claim of sexual abuse. The cases involve ex-priest Michael Baker, who admitted to Cardinal Roger Mahoney that he molested children for years. Baker was allowed to return to ministry where he molested again. And this morning, Google is paying up to settle complaints that it collected personal data from people's wireless networks while taking photos of neighborhoods with its Street View cars. The company will pay $7 million to 38 states. And a new battle in the war on soda. Lawmakers in Mississippi have passed the so-called anti-Bloomberg law. This is to take a stand against New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg's attempt to ban large sugary drinks. The Mississippi law will make it illegal for cities and towns to restrict portions and sizes. And finally, scientific proof that women are grumpier than men in the morning. What? Don't shoot the messenger. Oh, I'm just yeah. reading science. the... Ooh, Robin looks mad. It's science. It's science. Thank Excuse you, me. Sam. It's science. science. All right, listen up. Researchers at Duke <laughs> University found women who don't get enough sleep are more hostile and angry than men who get Whoa. the same amount of shut eye, and that's because they say, oh my, I'm in big trouble now. Women's yeah. brains are wired differently. Easy. It allows them to be better at multitasking as a result. Apparently, they need 20 Minutes more, shut eye. And <laughs> Robin and Lara are never grumpy in the morning. Uh, never. Why, Ayana? It's <laughs> very brave of you to do that in your first week in the gym. Yeah, was, well, you know. That's really I got to pay the mortgage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Thanks for